Today I had two mystery boxes from Etsy. Actually, one's an envelope. Um, one is from Of Moth and Moon, and the other one is from the Mineral Market. Um, I'm excited about the Moth and Moon one, which is supposed to be like weird curiosities, like bones and butterfly wings and stuff like that. Um, so I'll leave that one for last. Um, the Mineral Market is crystals that are supposed to be chosen intuitively for you. I don't really believe in the crystal powers and all that. I think it's about as accurate as a zodiac. But people named crystals are always the same. I believe more in the science of names. <laughs> but I just wanted some pretty rocks. So I'll go ahead and open that one first. Um, it won't come out. I think there is one, two, three or five different um, crystals and minerals in here and she has this little card that tells you about it and why she chose them so we'll see we'll see we'll just go ahead and open this bubble wrap just like little small ones I didn't get the big box I do want to get a bigger box later but we'll see about that um, comes in a little baggie. So let's dump them out. First one is turquoise, which I believe this is a turquoise. You see there? And it's associated with the throat and third eye. It enhances psychic abilities and connects with past lives. Yeah, so. Whoop. I once did a thing where it was like a past life and said I was a lawyer in the early 1900s in St. Louis. So I'm going to put this here and then connect with that lawyer. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I don't really believe this stuff, but if you do, you do you. Um, next one is amethyst. I think we all know what amethyst is. I have some bigger ones. It's associated with third eye chakra again and is a high vibration stone. It strongly protects the holder's aura, removes negativity, and enhances spirituality. I'm a pretty negative person, so I'm going to need like a big thing, especially this year. Oh my lord. Uh, smoky quartz. Pink. Okay, this is smoky quartz. And that is associated with the root and soul plexus chakras. This is handwritten. It's ground, oh, grounds the holder, bounces, energizes, and clears negativity. Although it is associated with earthly chakras, it also activates the third eye chakra. Enhance the spirituality and the higher self. Woo! Can you take me higher? Oh, I hated that song. This is Rose Quartz. And that's associated with the heart chakra. It is a high vibration stone. It enhances love, peace, self acceptance And gives the holder a sense of tranquility. I feel so calm right now. Where's my love? Next is, I can never say this stone, carnelian, and that is associated, it's pretty cool actually, so, if I put it like that, I'll put a picture of them all later after I read this, um, associated with the sacral chakra, and enhances energy and vitality, that each of the Egyptians believed it had protective powers in the afterlife. Many money mummies ugh, were buried with the name amulets. What name am amulets made of cornelian? So if I want to be a mummy when I get mummified when I die, probably this year, cause you know 2020, make it happen. Please bury that with me. So I'll post a picture right here of them all together. Um, so let's do a uh, Moth and Moon. 
I got a little box of this too. I just wanted to do like a bunch of Etsy boxes so I didn't get like the big high tier ones. I'm not rich. <laughs> Packed up nicely, tissue paper. So, this is little, this is just packing. That's just packing. So, more bubble wrap. Oh, it's got a cute little box. Okay, free it from the bubble wrap. We'll take a look here. Oop, cut the string, I think. Oops. So let's go. <laughs> well, I pull that out, just pretend I didn't do that. It's really nicely packaged. So. Oh, I miss living in West Virginia and seeing those. Those are the prettiest moths. What are they called? A lunar moth? And, oh, it has a hand stamped mushroom on it, by the way. This is the side of her box. That tissue paper is pretty, too. So, I think we got one, three things here. Okay. So this is Prey Night? Prey Night? Prey Night? I don't know. This little vial. I'll take a picture of these close up too. Should we look up and see what that is? Maybe I need that. <laughs> Let's see. good for doing tarot and crystal balls. Yeah, so come to me for your psychic reading, guys. I'm going to be the next Cleo. Um, oh, I don't know. This is making me nostalgic. I know you could probably just, if you live back east, go in your backyard and find one of these, but in Montana, we don't have the 17 year cicadas. But here's this little uh, cicada exoskeleton. It's not a big deal, but I you that makes me miss home. And that's kind of a weird thing to miss, but I get homesick a lot. <laughs> oh, there's something else in there. I didn't see it buried. Um, these are badger knuckles. I want to see a badger knuckle. You know you can buy a raccoon penis off of Amazon? Look it up. Ooh, I'm going to take them out. But they're in this little bottle. Little knuckles. Somewhere a badger is missing his knuckles. I think they actually get this from like roadkill and things like that. They don't go out and cut badger's hands off. <laughs> You're mean little bastards. Oh, there's two more things. Uh, naturally shed deer antler tip. Probably go in the mountain and get one of those, but I'm not going in the mountains. Mountain lions. That and then petite oko orko oko geo geo we'll just say geo geo more pretty rocks. Oh, this one actually, I like this one, that's pretty. And then there's a second one right there. Oh, I don't know if I can. I'll insert the pictures. So, I know I said that a thousand times. So, those were my two mystery boxes right there. Um, I do have two more coming in. So, when I get those in, I'll unbox those. They're coming from overseas, so I just decided I'd do these two. Get them out of the way, and then when those two come in, we'll do those. So, I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you guys later.